Good morning and welcome to morning prayer this morning, Friday the 24th of December. It's lovely to have you joining me this morning. I'm going to be using the words from the Book of Common Prayer today. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the Psalms that is set for this morning is Psalm 118. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, because his mercy endureth for ever. Let Israel now confess that he is gracious, and that his mercy endureth for ever. Let the house of Aaron now confess that his mercy endureth for ever. Yea, let them now that fear the Lord confess that his mercy endureth for ever. I called upon the Lord in trouble, and the Lord heard me at large. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear what man doeth unto me. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me, therefore shall I see my desire upon mine enemies. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put any confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put any confidence in princes. All nations compassed me round about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They kept me in on every side. They kept me in, I say, on every side, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They came about me like bees and are extinct even as the fire among the thorns, for in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord was my help. The Lord is my strength and my song and is become my salvation. The voice of joy and health is in the dwellings of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord bringeth mighty things to pass. The right hand of the Lord hath the preeminence. The right hand of the Lord bringeth mighty things to pass. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened and corrected me, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open me the gates of righteousness, that I may go into them and give thanks unto the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter into it. 
I will thank thee that thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The same stone which the builders refused is to become the headstone in the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Help me now, O Lord. O Lord, send us now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have finished you good luck. Yea, ye that are of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord who hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, yea, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will thank thee. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endureth for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading that is set for this morning is Nahum chapter 1, but I am going to continue now with the Tadeum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, the goodly fellowship of the prophets, praise thee. The noble army of martyrs, praise thee. The holy church throughout all of the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And our second reading this morning is from Matthew chapter 23, verses 13 to 28. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Woe unto you, 
scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. But when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater, the gold or the temple, that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift? Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides, which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, 
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of thy only Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our Judge, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, now and for ever. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, Defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. 
Father God, as we come to you this morning, we bring all of our worries and our concerns to you. We know that you listen as we call out to you. Father God, we bring you our world. Struggling in so many places because of the spread of this Omicron variant, the coronavirus. We pray that there will be a stop to the spread of this virus and that the vaccines and will defeat it and people will be able to go about their daily lives without the threat of getting sick or carrying something that will make others sick. Father God, we pray for all of those who are working in the hospitals as they get busier, as some of these patients are brought in. Father, we ask that you will give the doctors, the nurses, extra strength and energy over this Christmas period. Enable them to do their work. And then when they go home, enable them to rest. And Father God, we pray for all of those who are sick at the moment. Those in hospital and those at home. We pray for those awaiting treatment. We pray for those who've received diagnoses that concern them. And we pray for those struggling with ongoing illness and disability. And Father, we remember all of those who have lost loved ones recently and who are now sad as they mourn and lonely. We ask that you will comfort them. We bring you also the prayers that have been left in the chapel this week. We pray for Sue and Barry and that all their hardship that they are going through will be resolved and that they will no longer have to endure their suffering. We pray for Renee that she will find contentment and happiness in her new retirement home. We pray for Dominique that she will recover soon and permanently from anxiety and depression and that she will find happiness. We pray for Steve, that he can cope with serious family problems and find the strength to carry on. We pray for all of those who are sick, especially Daryl and Peter, and our family, families both at home and at church. We pray for Madeline McCann's parents that they might receive news at this particular time of year that their minds might be put at rest. And Father, we bring you ourselves as we look forward to Christmas Day tomorrow and the birth of your son. We ask that as we look to you, you would continue to guide us through this day, that you would encourage each of us in our journey with you, and that you would bless us and our families 
Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers this morning. That we have brought to you in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. I hope you all have a lovely day today and I wish you all a wonderful Christmas tomorrow. I will look forward to seeing you all again soon. God bless. Goodbye.